The sky groove is an intermediate chop groove, so if you haven't completed the 3D chop course yet, I really suggest you head over there and work through that course and then come back here. The sky groove has some really cool elements I want to point out to you. Uh, in the left hand, we've got this double D. Gives a lot of grind as we approach if we want to slide in, and also gives that that just that D root just gives a lot of breadth and, and ring. So uh, that's really fun. It's a really full sound. Um, only thing fuller is down there with your low D chord. Um, coming out of that, we've got this C chord, right? Four one C chord. I want you to practice that walking up just this, then lock the string with your bow, and then tap on the four and then the one. Practice the intonation there. You're playing, you're playing your four, that'll be trustworthy, but your one, you're gonna to wanna to work, work on, figure out exactly where that is. Notice my arm is really forward. It's almost like an extension, because it's a really wide chord. We're going four, one, four, one. And then eventually you wanna to get to four and one at the same time. C chord, the G chord open, and the D chord open. All right, on the right hand, what we've got going on is a really sick pattern. Um, it's gonna go up, set, up, chop, down, up, set, up, chop. So the up bow is actually on the beat. So that's why we start out here. So the, if you want to speak the pattern, it's up, set, up, chop, down, up, set, up, chop, down, up, set, up, chop, down, up, set, up, chop. A little slower. Up, set, up, chop, down, up, set, up, chop, down, up, set, up, chop. So obviously you can use this groove in a lot of different contexts, but if you want to take it a little further, head over to Groove Etudes and look for Sky.